Hi guys, it's Sarah, and today I'll be doing a book to movie review on Safe Haven by Nicholas Sparks. I actually watched the movie for this first, and I liked the movie, and then I read the book, and I was like, oh, that movie left out a lot. <laughs> so, since I have a lot to discuss today, since I got like six more books, and to, not to mention the uh, next book I'm reading, reading. Let's jump on into the review. Uh, a couple of things I've noticed that are different from the movie is that in the book she has brown hair and not blonde. And in the book he has gray hair, not brown. So color hair changes. Were the people who are always frustrated with color hair changes frustrated with this one? I was kind of like, huh, wonder why they decided to switch that. Because she had blonde hair before she left, and if I remember the movie correctly, she had brown hair before she left, so I switched that up a little bit, but not too bad. Another thing I noticed that was different from the movie is there was a lot more detail, of course, being a book. A book, books always give more detail than movies do. Uh, I don't know if in the movie they showed the, that adorable beach scene with Alex, Katie, and their ki his kids. Uh, I thought that was a cute scene, and how she seems more to open up more to him in this book than she does in the movie, because I don't think he figures out until the very end that she has an abusive husband. But he d in this one, he finds out, like, in the middle. Middle. And, and another thing that they don't really go into depth on in the book is how he was a detective or a police officer in the military or in the military it was either one of those jobs he was doing something in the military and he could tell a lot about if women were abused or not or not because one of the signs that he saw that Katie had been in an abusive relationship was that she would always twist her ring absentmindedly on her finger, which wasn't there, which was a sign of abused woman, I believe. He said. So, that's interesting. I like reading about that. Another thing they don't really go into in the movie is that she had alcoholic parents. I didn't remember hearing about that in the movie either. Either. I liked reading about her childhood because we didn't get to know a lot about Katie's childhood in the movie. We only got to see the scene, like one or two scenes of her abusive husband, but there's a lot more in this book. Book like how she would run away and what she, he would do to her when she ran away because she ran away like three times twice he caught her and the third time he still caught her but in the end you know that didn't really pan out he ended up murdering himself which does anyone else think it was weird when he murdered himself I mean a trained cop murdering himself but then again, he was drunk off three balls of vodka, so, yeah. Yes. Things I liked about this book versus things I didn't like about this book. Uh, I liked the story. It was pretty good. Good, considering I've never read a Nicholas Sparks book besides the last song. I think I'll pick up more of his work because it's pretty good. And I'm into lovey-dovey romance stuff. But it's kind of like one of those books I have to be in the mood for. So it took me about two weeks to read this book. I believe. But what was funny is that yesterday, uh, I was only right here in the book. And then last night, I finished it all. Because I really wanted to get to the next book I was going to show you here in a minute. So I really wanted to get to that book, so I'm all like, okay, I really want to get to the next book because it was one of my most anticipated books I wanted to read. So I got through this book and it was pretty good. I give it about an 8 out of 10 star rating, 
which is pretty good. It's a pretty good book. Uh, I loved her, her relationship with the kids and how much more in-depth the book went with his relationship with his kids. I liked how we got to know more about his wife. Why? Because in the movie they don't really mention her that much, I believe. I also like how there was more scenes where we actually got to go in depth about how Katie had an abusive husband. There was like maybe two scenes in the movie compared to like the six scenes in the book. In the book that they showed us. Like, I was just wondering in the movie, she only spoke about how much an abusive husband he was. We never really got to see it. In the book, there's a lot of emotional damage and physical damage. And how he finds out that she's in Southport made me really pissed off. It's like, oh yeah, my mom had a sister. And I'm just, not a sister. My mom had another daughter, she died. And we're like, okay, you would really willingly tell a stranger about that. I mean, come on. That's how we found out where she was, and I'm like, oh. So that character pissed me off. That was one of the things I didn't like about the book, was that one stupid-ass character. You know the one stupid-ass character who gives the evil guy information about knowing it? Yeah, she... It's in here, folks. So things I like. Another thing I liked about this book is her relationship with Joe. We got a lot to see a lot more scenes with Joe in it too. Too and who Joe was at the ending. I knew who she was at the ending. Did, were you guys surprised whenever you first read the book? I know whenever I first watched the movie, I was all going like, Joe's gonna be the dead wife, isn't she? So the movie is kind of like was kind of like a uh, predictable to me. The book was predict was kind of unpredictable because there are some scenes that are in here that aren't in the movie. So, I like the book. As books to movies go, I prefer... Is the book better or is the movie better? I think I'll do this with a lot of books to movies. I think the moot... Not the movie. The book is better. That and... I have a funny story to go with this book. I kept on calling Alex Josh because I'm like, no, no, I could have sworn his name was Josh and... Funny story is his son's actually Josh in this, but the actor who plays Alex in this is Josh Jumel. So that's why... Why I was like, no, I could have sworn his name was Josh, so... I had this mindset in my head for ten chapters that his name was Josh and not Alex, and somehow Nicholas Sparks got that wrong. And I'm like, no, nope, I got that wrong. No, actually not Nicholas Sparks. I was like, that movie got that wrong. His name's not Josh. And then I look at the back of it, and it is Alex. And I'm like, oops. So that was a funny thing for me to notice. Notice. So yeah, 8 out of 10 stars. If you're into lovey-dovey romance stuff, I suggest picking up a Nicholas Sparks book. Because yes, they're lovey-dovey romance, but there's also a little bit of edge to them, especially Safe Haven. So, that. Okay, next subject I'm gonna talk about is my next book that I'm reading, and that one is The Game of Love and Death. I really, like I said before, I really like the premise for this one, Love and Death actually being in this sort of race, and they're now betting on an interracial couple, and they are... The book is actually set in the Great Depression, so it's a historical fiction, which I've never really read before. Before, So, I'm giving this book a chance. Hopefully it's awesome, because it looks awesome, the premise is solid, and I love the symbolism between the pages, because it is about an interracial couple. I love the symbolism of the black and white pages. That's pretty awesome. And I love symbolism on the front because love and death, like good and bad. The red always symbolizes blood and death. And the little airplane, I'm kind of interested to see how airplanes pan out on it. So 
upload this one. I'm gonna start this one. Hopefully it's not gonna take me that long. That long, but who knows. And then finally, last but not least, I would like to show you the books that I got today. Uh, this series, I had a lot of hype on, around, centered around it when it was still going on. And it just barely ended, so I got the box set for it. And yes, it's the paperback box set. I know the hardback covers are way more pretty. But uh, I'm not going to pay like 90 bucks for them. <laughs> so, I got... Can you see them all? Like, can you see them? I got all the Mortal Instruments series by Cassandra Clare. Uh, a lot of my friends either love or hate the series. I wasn't particularly a fan of the first book. I read the first book back in high school. Didn't really mesh well with me. Mostly because I don't really read things about incest a lot. But we all know by now that that's a false thing. But the Moral Instrument series, first one is City of Bones. Um, I'm just going to show you these covers. I know most of you already know what the covers look like, but I think they're pretty covers. And then book two, City of Ashes. Book three is City of Glass. Book four is City of Fallen Angels. Book five, which is my favorite cover out of all of them, is City of Lost Souls. Lost Souls, this is one of my favorite covers. I mean, doesn't Jace look hot in it? That is Jace, right? I'm not seeing Sebastian, am I? Because that would be weird. And the sixth and final book, which I thought I was going to get in hardback, but I didn't. But that's okay. Okay, because apparently the hardback version has a poster inside that spoils the books for you. So, I have... The last one, I have City of Heavenly Fire, which, this is a gorgeous cover, as well as the other ones. And then, then, I wanted to get, if I had enough money, I wanted to get the Infernal Devices trilogy, but since I didn't have enough money, money, I didn't get it. But, yep, there we go, that's all the books that I got. For now, I'm still waiting on my books for thriftbooks.com, which probably won't be here for another two weeks, because it's a new site. Well, not a new site, but a new site to me. Me. And I'm finally getting Allegiant, which I have put off reading until now, because we all know who dies in that book, and it's just no... Nick. Get over it. Yeah. Feels... Still it feels. And I have yet to read Insurgent 2, so I have to finish both those books. I'm like, eh, well, if I start a trilogy, I might as well end it. And for this one, I'm committing to six books, so hopefully I find them really good. Good, because I don't really commit to six book series unless it's Vampire Academy or Bloodlines. Better shall mean. So, this one should be interesting. Okay. I'll see you guys later. Thank you for watching.